Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. The other day, I was looking for alligator clips in dollar stores and um, hardware stores, and you know these are very hard to find nowadays. I don't know why. Neither it's very expensive now, or I couldn't find it. So what I decided is that okay, if I cannot purchase it at certain price, why don't I make one? So I'm now gonna make it out of the cloth pins. This is actually wooden pins and uh, what you want to do is to make the two end here we're going to put a piece of metal between the two end so I got some electronic um, plates this is a copper this is steel now you can use it to um, hot glue one end and then the other end and we're going to put a wire on it we're going to solder in and uh, make it into an alligator clips all right let's get started I'll show you what you need okay other than the uh, cloth pins that we need two of them positive and negative terminal you would need also a drill okay so in order to drill a little hole here now you don't have to do it I just need it do it just to make it more neat you need a um, soldering iron and you need hot glue okay and of course you would also need a metal sheet in this case a copper and a steel plate it doesn't really matter you could use copper plate this is all from all old electronic parts that I got I think it was some old laptop that was, um, you know, taken apart and all that. And I saw these uh, copper plates. Like, oh, I can use it for something. Before I forget, make sure you wear your safety glasses. All right. Okay. The first thing we want to do is to cut a piece of metal, copper metal. I'm going to use copper plate instead of steel plate. Okay. So I'm going to do copper instead. Um, so what we need is scissors. Preferably, you want a metal scissors, but I don't have it available. So I'm just going to. All you want to do is look at your paper clip and see how much you need. I probably just need a little piece here. So that's about right about that much and you cut that out like this okay. you got one piece long rectangular piece very small I'm gonna cut it into halves okay that would be one of the alligator clip terminal and we need the other piece so cut that as well Mm -hmm. Okay, and then cut in halves. Whoops, this is why you need to wear safety glasses. So once you have the copper plate in place, you want to put one on this side and the other one on the other side. Now, we need hot glue for this. So we're going to put a hot glue. Oops, just hold on all these tangling wire. I just make sure I don't burn anything here. Okay, so you put a hot glue on one side. There we go. And then the other side. And you take this copper plate. And you place it one on this side okay and the other one on oops I just dropped one oh never mind the other side like that okay and then you squeeze it in like this okay just make sure there's no um, hot glue sticking on each other that is just um, sticking to just one side which is usually the wood itself okay I see that there's a hot glue here I need to get rid of that make sure it doesn't cause any okay and there it is so you can see if you look up closely there's one copper plate on one side and one copper plate on the other side now we want to do is um, we are going to solder in one of the wire on the side here or on the back or the front really doesn't matter and we're going to drill a little hole which I already did here okay and we're going to place the wire into that and it comes out this way okay it looks pretty good now we got two copper plate on one side and on the other side now I'm just going to have to solder in the piece of wire so you need a piece of wire like this okay so I already um, took out the end open it up okay so you have a nice copper wire on both sides and we are now gonna solder it in now we're, what I like to do is I like to twist at the end to give it more um, surface area here like that okay, it'll be easier for it to solder in okay, and do the other end as well like that okay, and then we're gonna twist them in like this okay, and we're gonna solder in okay I'm gonna drill a hole into this one Oops. 
you don't have to do this. It's just uh, need to keep the wire in place, right? So you have wire on the end here, and then the um, end of it is the a metal plate, which is copper here. Okay, so we're gonna put this copper wire through a hole that I drilled, like that. The hole might be too small, but you don't want a bit too big hole either because it can break the wood, right? And then once you get it through, so something, see how it keeps it aligned? So that's why you have a hole in between here, see? And then we're gonna um, solder in like that. Okay, so we're gonna solder one of this here. So. Um, usually, uh, it doesn't really matter how you do it. I think we could do it from the bottom end or the top end. It doesn't really matter because both of the metal will come in contact with each other and give conduction. Okay, so conduction will occur in both if once the two metal come in contact. Because the most important thing is that you know you want to solder in so that one side will have the piece of metal here, okay, and then when you come the two metal when the clip comes together, the two metal come in contact. Now hopefully, you know, the one that you want to be in contact is on the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay? And do that. Okay, I might even want to hot glue this part here just to keep it um, straight, right, and secured. Okay, so it's really up to you, really. I don't, you know, I might want to do that. I'm not sure. Okay, so I managed to solder in the copper wire to the plate here. Just one side and uh, it should work I'm gonna test it later on whether it's uh, conductive right so we're gonna uh, connect say a, a battery and a diode see if it lights up or something that's happening maybe a voltmeter to test if the voltage is running through this All right so far so good let's do the other one now okay I finished as you can see here I solder in the metal plate onto the uh, cloth pin go and then it wires and hot glue on the side here to stabilize the wire and here's the other side as well metal plate and I solder in and there is the wire at the end of it I have the two terminal um, red indicating positive terminal and blue indicating uh, negative terminal so we're ready to go let's give it a try and test it if it works or not okay so I have this lithium battery that I got from electronic parts positive and negative terminals about 3.7 to 4 volt okay so let's see I should label this that this is a positive and then this is a negative okay so I'll do that later on actually I should do it now I? so here we'll let's put down um, positive okay positive let me even put it here as well okay the other side negative 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 and negative okay now we're ready to go so negative on this side now the wire you have to see where the wire is so here it is it's on this side so we're going to clip on there okay oops let's do it again have to have good contact here there we go positive now make sure the other end doesn't touch together so you short it. So here's a positive. Oops, not the best that I could do here, but you know, we'll do our best. There we go. Now we are now gonna test whether the positive and the negative gives you 3.7. And it does. 4.07 very good so it worked okay so I have this uh, three LED lights we're gonna hook it up and there you see it works that's it okay so here we have a battery all right and there's the battery this one using the wooden uh, alligator kip clip that I made okay. okay so I tried to clip onto my um, three LED lights you can see here this is the wooden alligator clip that I made, right? And at the end here, you can see it's hooked up to 
um, the terminal, the positive and negative, and it's working. The light is working. Okay, this is my um, portable battery that I made last time. You can check that out too. Where um, let's show you right now. Okay, so here's a built-in lithium battery. You just hook it up like this. Kind of off the topic here, right? But anyway, there was another project that I did, and there we go. Okay, so that was the portable one. But today I was just trying to make the uh, wooden alligator clip and make sure it works. And it works really well. Thanks for watching, educate2.com.